That looks like a dragon flying by. It is a dragon. Wow. Wonder if he can shoot fire out of his mouth. I think I'm going to see if I can catch that dragon and tame it. Game of Thrones. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. What are you having for lunch today? A chicken tortilla. Wrong. No. Chicken quesadilla. A chicken quesadilla. Having trouble with your Spanish? Yeah. I'm not in Spanish land. It's a chicken, cheese, and salsa casera. Quesadilla. that and then we use a pizza cutter Yum. How's it? Mm -hmm. Huh? No? No good? It's so good I can't even tell you. Ah. Can't even. It's like maybe Jerry the Cook has actually lived in old Mexico. I see. <laughs> Want to be done now and eat? Uh, I'm eating. Okay, go for it. Sold my Suzuki. I'm going to miss that car. Here it is. Hooked up to its new master motorhome. Had that car for 20-some years. This is kind of sad. Adios, little Suzuki. I'm going to miss you. Well, they say the best thing to heal a broken heart is to have a new romance. And I am liking my new Jeep a lot. It's just as capable as the Suzuki was. It's much more comfortable. And it uh, seems to... Allow me to follow all of these other vehicles that I have followed for so long with my Suzuki. We were down in the wash. I didn't make those tracks, but I made some of them. Not the big circles, but we're up here on top of a hill. And it was no problem for me getting up there. Ed's letting some air out of the tires down to, I think she said, eight pounds per square inch because you need a little, even a little less air pressure in wet or dry sand like that. I was doing fine as long as I kept my momentum up. What's up here? A cave? Oh, like right. Yeah. You ready? You don't want to go in? Are you going in? Oh, this is cool. 
school's way fell on yet. <laughs> I didn't get the brochure with all the stops on it. Yeah, now after this, we're going to go put seatbelts back on. Oh. I still think we shouldn't try to go up that hill. No. They're still sitting Did I hear him say we shouldn't try to go up this hill? Oh, well. Today, we're not going four-wheeling, we're going three-wheeling on my new tricycle. Going to join a group here that's going for a bike ride. Hello. Well, that's cool. I got a bike and a half. I guess so. Come that way? <laughs> come that way. Yeah, I came that way. Oh, okay. I just checked. I didn't see you coming yet. <laughs> I don't know, but my wife has a mobility scooter, weighs 110. The batteries are heavier. But riding one of these is different than a bicycle. It's 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 counterintuitive when you lean to turn you can't lean to turn this you have to steer it no that's kind of made for off-road too. I especially like the seat. I, I made this seat. I couldn't yeah. stand sitting on a bicycle seat. Plus, if I drive over to a campfire or something, I got my chair with me. Yes, absolutely. And it's comfortable. Golf is always serious. 
Not when I'm around. Yeah, I was gonna say, I not, not, never was. I got yelled at more than once. That's, I guess that's why. I they don't let me drive the carts anymore. They don't even let me on the golf course. <laughs> Okay, stay there, I want one, but you don't have to do anything, it's video and it's already going. The rest of the group is riding around here in the little town of La Paz Valley, which is about six miles south of Quartzsite, right near the Roadrunner BLM place where we're parked. I'm going in here to see my friend Tim. Tim is the mechanic that worked on my Suzuki a year ago and replaced the timing belt and a number of other little things. Hello, Tim. Hey. Remember me? Yep, Jerry, right? <laughs> I still got my Suzuki, but I bought a Jeep, and I bought this to ride around in the desert, and I'm yeah. over here at... Everything. Yeah, that road right Yeah, everything's working fine. There you go. Don't need you. Just wanted to say hi. Okay. <laughs> I like it better when people bring me their money. Okay, well, <laughs> I can just give you yeah. some. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, Bruce. You remember Bruce? Was yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the Bruce, one girl that was just in here, Cindy. Oh, yeah, I think he sent her over here. Yeah, with her little maxi van or whatever. He's got a he's got a another tracker. I think he's probably going to have you change the timing belt timing belt on it sometime in the next month or two. Yeah, we're just all having a bike ride. Oh, there you go. Well, hey, oh, you got to go catch up. Okay. Good to I see like you, that Jerry. With big tires. I, I yeah, this is kind of off roading. It's it's pretty good going through the washes. Yeah. Where'd you get that one? Online or something? Online, uh, BP. BMP Imports. And what is that? A couple two, thousand bucks? Two thousand. Two thousand. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. It is. It's a good deal. It's even got, it's even got cruise control. How fast will it go, though? Uh, it says 28. Well, that's, that's way faster than you want to go. Yeah, well, that's like I had my little 70 yesterday up to 50, and I let off of it because I go... I, I sold my 90, my Honda 90. Yeah. Gonna sell my Suzuki. Want a Suzuki? No. Know anybody that does? You know it's you know a, what? You know, year, you, know it, you know it's a good one. Yeah, this year they're just not. I know. There's nobody buying. It's in a, a lot of people selling. It's nobody in a, buying. It's in an aircraft hangar over in Salon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sell it to Bruce. He buys it. <laughs> I ain't selling it at his price. That's the yeah, problem. That's problem. Yeah. We'll see you later. So if you need a mechanic anywhere around Quartzsite, I highly recommend Tim. He knows what he's doing, and he's fair about the prices. Uh... I know of several people who have gone to him and have been real happy with his work and his prices. Um, anyway, Tim, La Paz Valley, six miles south of Quartzsite, Arizona. It's a good idea to have mechanics you know and trust uh, in several parts of the country if you're a nomad. I've got uh, mechanics in three states and two countries. We have a favorite mechanic up in Rapid City, South Dakota. We've got one in Boring, Oregon, just outside of Portland. And uh, Tim down here in Quartzsite. And, of course, I got my buddy Pablo down there in Ajijic, Mexico. And they're people I trust, not only to do good work, but to not 
do work that's not necessary and to um, give me a fair price. You know, when I come across the border from Mexico up into the United States, people are always asking me, well, aren't you afraid of the cartels traveling up through there? And my answer is always, no, I am not afraid of the cartels. I am afraid when I cross the border into the United States of America, I am afraid of doctors, lawyers, and mechanics. They can financially hurt me. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.